Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you've ever wondered how to add audio sound effects directly in Figma to make your prototypes come alive, you're in the right place. In this quick tutorial, I'm going to guide you through each step so you can easily integrate sounds like clicks, success chimes, or even your custom audio files into your Figma designs. By the end, you'll know exactly how to enrich your prototypes with sound, making them feel way more interactive and real for your team or clients. Let's jump right in and get started. Alright, the first thing you'll want to do is head down to the center bottom of your Figma workspace. There you'll see the action search bar, or if you're a fan of keyboard shortcuts like I am, you can just hit Ctrl plus K. This little shortcut is such a time saver, it quickly brings up the command search, letting you access an incredible range of plugins and features without any digging. It's kind of like Figma's all-in-one quick launcher, letting you work smarter and faster. Once the action search is open, go ahead and type in audio. What you're looking for is a plugin called PunchCut Audio Player. This is a fantastic little tool that lets you play around with adding sound effects to your prototypes. If you don't see it immediately, don't worry, sometimes it might take a moment for the search results to update, especially if you have a lot of plugins or files open. When you spot the Punch Cut Audio Player, just click to open it. Figma will load it up right inside your file so you won't have to leave your design workspace. Now you'll see the Punch Cut Audio Player interface appear, here, where the magic happens. You'll notice a few default sound options right away, things like click, success, error, and notification. These are common sounds you might want to attach to different interactions in your prototype. For example, you could use click for button taps, success for completing a form, error to indicate invalid input or notification when you want to alert users. Just choose the sound that fits your design, and if you're not sure which one to pick, go ahead and try them all out. You can preview each sound by clicking on them. Take your time with this step. It's worth finding the audio that matches the mood and function you're aiming for. Once you've selected the sound or sounds you want, make sure to click Save. This step is key because it locks in your audio choices for your prototype. If you skip this, your sounds might not play as expected when you run your prototype, so it's worth double-checking before you move on. If you have your very own sound effects, maybe a custom jingle, a unique notification, or pretty much any audio file you want to use, you can add those, too. Just paste the URL to your sound file into the plugin where it asks for it. This flexibility means you aren't limited to the default options, you really can personalize your prototype with any sound you like. And once your sound's loaded in, go ahead and hit play to preview how it will sound in your design. This is a great way to make sure your audio fits perfectly with your interactions before sharing your work. And that's really all there is to it. Adding audio to your Figma projects can help users experience your designs just the way you imagined. So if things don't work right away, don't stress, sometimes you just need to refresh the plugin or double check your sound links. Thanks for watching. If you found this quick Figma audio tutorial helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Drop a comment below if you have any questions or want to share your own tips. And don't forget to subscribe for more easy to follow design tutorials like this one. See you in the next video.